Parshas Kisaitse, the beginning of the Parshas, famous uh, story or famous episode about the Fas Toar, and how <coughs> Rashi tells us that the Dibra Torah Kenegad Yetzirah, like Dibra Torah El Kenegad Yetzirah, the Torah is only talking to the Yetzirah. This allowance to to take this woman, you see her, you desire her. It's a time of battle, different opinions as to what you are allowed to do, what you're not, what you're not allowed to do in terms of uh, relations with her right away, relations with her after the whole process, different opinions. But the whole concept that you're allowed to take this woman uh, and ultimately you know, have her be your wife is can I get the eight to her? It's, it's to sort of assuage the, the evil inclination. Inclination. Shemayna Kodesh Baruch Hu Matira Yasiyena Be'iser Because if the Torah did not allow you to do it, if the Torah didn't make this heter, you would do it Be'iser. So the, the Rashi explaining to us, it's a, it's a medrash, that there is this allowance because of the reality of the situation. Kodesh Baruch Hu uh, looked into our abilities, he saw what war is about, he saw the, the pressures of war, and he said, listen, it's just not shy, for me to ask for this is something that you will not be able to withstand, it's, it's, a, it's too big of, a, of an isoyot. And as a result, I'm going to, going to allow it. Obviously there are guidelines, etc., etc., and then I'm telling you also it's not going to lead to good things, because it's, it's, it's her, as Rashi tells us, tells us about the fact that uh, the marriage is, is not going to last and it's going to, God forbid, lead to a Ben Saramara. And therefore, that's why these parishes are close by. So I saw once a very, you know, maybe simple, but I think very illuminating uh, insight into, uh, into this concept. The simple in the sense that, uh, obviously, if a Kodesh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah, you know, we, we know from Chazal, so Kodesh Baruch Hu isn't trying to make us slip up. He's not looking to catch us. His whole purpose of making this world is to do chesed and to bestow kindness on, on mankind. Uh, so, but that, uh, having said that, there is still very often a notion that this is simply too hard. You're putting me in a situation where I, I, I can't manage, I can't, uh, I can't do it. And the, the reality is, you see from here, that if HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in a situation where he sees that the, the uh, setup of the situation is such that you can't uh, refrain, you just have to be able to indulge because otherwise you're going to do it anyway. If, there, if that situation does present itself, HaKadosh Baruch Hu say, hey, I get that. I, I look into the situation. I see what your kochos, I see your, your abilities. And I'm telling you, and I, and I know that this is not within your purview, so I'm not going to uh, prohibit it uh, to you. But on the other hand, therefore, if everything else I'm telling you, whether it's the, 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 uh, uh, the Shabbos and the Kashrus and the Kibbut Aveim and the Tefillin and all the other mitzvahs that I'm giving you, and some that seem to be overwhelming, sometimes, my gosh, Kish Baruch Hu wants so much of us, he expects so much of us. And the attitude very often is, you know, I can't, I can't deliver. Kish Baruch Hu is not being realistic about the expectations. This is, uh, you know, how, how do you give me all of these obligations? It just, uh, it's not within, uh, you know, my, my human capacity. Now, maybe there are special exemptions. There are people who grew up in different situations. And, you know, but generally speaking, we see from this a, a wonderful insight to the concept that Akash Baruch Hu absolutely knows what we're capable of. He knows what we're not capable of. He knows when he has to give us a special dispensation. And he also, and he therefore knows to, um, to, uh, not, to, uh, to allow what's, what's not, uh, what a Jew can't uh, refrain from. And he, therefore, what he doesn't allow and what he commands us to do, he knows our kochos and nefesh. He knows he made, listen, he's the big expert. He's the one who made it. He's, uh, right, we always go back to the owner's manual to check how do you uh, deal with a, 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 the product that you just bought. Well, you figure the one who put it together would know best how to handle this particular situation. We sometimes dabble and we end up make, you know, making mistakes. The best thing is go back to the owner's manual, see who put it together, and see what they say when this happens is what you need to do. Well, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us this manual, this incredible manual called Torah, and he's saying, guys, this is what you need to do every single day. Open up the Shulchan Aruch, open up Aruch Hayim, see what your day has to be like, see what your obligations are. Even the mitzvah of Talmud Torah, which is 
sometimes seen as an overwhelming mitzvah. It's not overwhelming. A person could commit to Torah every single day. It's, 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 it's eminently doable. And the, the biggest proof is when it's not doable, like Baruch Hu says to us, I know it's not doable. And I've calculated that. That's why I'm going to give you the parsha of, of your fast Torah. So it's, you know, from this parsha, the inverse is really, uh, g- gives us an incredibly important lesson. Maybe one of the things we can use to maybe give us the strength uh, to, to sort of you know, persevere on, on, a, on a daily basis. Just the, the idea of you know, what, what, what can drive us. Because sometimes, even though we, certainly we could do it, we know we could do it. We see from here that we can do it. And we know because Baruch would never give us a, a set of laws and a set of rules and expectations that we can't handle. What he's uh, looking to, to chip us up. We know that's not true, but day to day does get challenging. So there is this incredible pasuk that really uh, reminds us again, as, as we were in Elul, and certainly we, we need to have that, that sense of confidence and, and uh, trust in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. This certainly helps us with the, this concept, helps us to know that Avad HaKadosh Baruch Hu you know, is giving it to us for our benefit, and he loves us, and he knows we, we can do it. But just another source of strength is this pasuk where the Torah tells us in this week's parish, you're not supposed to let, leave a person hanging. When you, uh, when you uh, execute somebody, and he has a mishpat maves, so so it's a lava in the Torah, not to leave his body hanging on the tree. He kavar tik brano b'yom ahuki kill us alakem tolui. Okay, so um, it would be the curse of a kodesh baruch that would be hanging, and the meaning to say is azuzo shirashi says, and again, much discussion on on this whole concept. What exactly is is this referring to? But he kills all the uh, Just, just simple. The simple direct message of Rashi, without getting overly complicated, is that it's a zilzal. You leave a man hanging out on, out in the uh, on the in the square, or not in the square, but where Bezdin, uh, you know, leaves a person uh, executed in Bezdin. Uh, the halach is that you're supposed to have that body hanging till till the evening. Make sure it does not stay over. Over the time, okay, he says um, because it's it's a shame to the king. Show them also with the yukno, because man is made in the image of a kodesh baruch hu. Yisrael heim banov, and the klai Yisrael are his children, and as such, it would be it'd be a shame. As uh, and the Rashi gives brings a marshal, but the, the king had two sons, they're twins. Um, Say, I'm sorry, two brothers. Okay, they were very similar to one another in terms of their appearance, identical twins. Okay, one became a, a fancy officer, one became uh, a terrible criminal. So says anybody who sees, if they would see that the, the criminal is left hanging there, they say, oh, look at that. You know, the, uh, the, the defense minister is up there because, uh, oh, no, it's not him, it's his identical brother, but no one would know the difference. So they're going to confuse uh, them. So... On the simple surface, just take the push-up shot. Again, there's, there's more to analyze here on the push-up shot, that when you see a man hanging, who's the, who's the twin brother here? So you have to say that the twin brothers, so to speak, even though obviously HaKadosh Baruch has no form, but the twin brothers are HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That it's a, it's a shame for HaKadosh Baruch Hu to, to have a, a, a human being that was made in his image, that has his divine gift of, of the Tzalem uh, Kim. He'll be hanging there, and again, it's, it's incredible because the Talmudim is uh, really the Nisham is no longer there. You have the physical flesh and bones, which is really not. But that's that's this this man represents God, his godliness. And if we understood that this is what we have, this is what we've been given, it's a tremendous uh, source and a, t- a tremendous uh, force for us to to uh, gain that strength to know we can do it. Because look what we have within us. Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave. Gave us godliness to the point that if we really understood what we what we were, that uh, that us, God forbid, any a, a human being hanging, a Jew hanging there, that's uh, that's a kodesh baruch Hu, that's a tzalim of the kim, to be zayin for the king, to let him just sort of uh, to, to, to let him be hanging out there because that there's sort of some level of connecting that which I'm looking at to the to the to the great tsar, to the great uh, power. So that, that's definitely the. The, the message of Rashi that the the must yukno shel makom. This is a zuzu shemelech. It's a zilzal for the king. So if we if we understood that this was the great principle of the altar of the um, of the altar of, of uh, 
So Abadka who instilled this concept of godless Adam, clearly it's rooted in the Torah. He was telling the Kim also, so Adam, Hakadosh Baruch Hu made man uh, in the image of God, which means he blew into him v'ipach ba'pov nishma asalikim. We have a divine origin. We have tremendous. Uh, we see it. We see Klaus so often doing incredible things, rising to uh, incredible challenges during various occasions. This is who we are. So, in one respect, we see from the beginning of the parasha that if we couldn't do something, Hakadosh Baruch Hu would give it to us. And we see from here, from this concept, that. Look at the greatness we have inherently within us. So for us to think that we can't rise to the challenge of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, has put out for us is clearly it's a tremendous mistake. We have to reinforce the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves us. That's why he gave us this incredible uh, neshama, this incredible connection to HaKadosh Baruch Hu uh, in, in, in the fact that we have this, uh, this spirituality within us that connects HaKadosh Baruch Hu and Bez Hashem. If we keep those things in mind as we go through El, we approach Yom Adin, we'll uh, truly have the, the confidence and the knowledge to know that, uh, yes, we can do it. And obviously, uh, especially at this particular time, Bez Hashem, we, we all must do it.